In this video on functions with unknown coefficients, I'm going to work through the example we see here in which we're given a parabola whose equation is y equals to negative 2x squared plus bx plus c, and we need to find the two unknown coefficients b and c. The whole idea behind problems like this one is to use the information that's given to us on the graph to derive equations for the unknowns we have, so in this case for b and c. Furthermore, since we have two unknowns here, we're going to need two equations. And for that, we need to be given two bits of information, which is the case here. Indeed, we're given the coordinates of two points along this curve's length. And so using these points' coordinates alongside the equation that we're given, we're going to derive a pair of simultaneous equations for b and c. And here's how. If I focus on this first point for a second, it has coordinates negative 2 and negative 15. Now, if I turn to the equation that we're given, I'm going to replace every x I see by negative 2, and the y that we have here by negative 15. So that would be negative 15 equals to negative 2 times negative 2 squared plus b times negative 2 plus c. I now simplify this as much as I can, and so that would be negative 15 equals to negative 2 times negative 2 squared, so that's negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8, plus b times negative 2, which turns into minus 2b plus c. Now adding 8 to both sides of this equation leads to negative 15 plus 8, which is negative 7, equals to negative 2b plus c. And we now have an equation involving the two unknowns we're after, b and c. And I'll call this equation 1, so I'll just write e1, like so. Now that that's done, I turn to the second point we're given, which has coordinates 3, negative 5. And just as I did for the first point, I go back to the equation we're given, and I'm going to replace every x I see by 3, and y by negative 5. So that gives us negative 5 equals to negative 2 times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. That's negative 5 equals to negative 2 times 3 squared, so that's negative 2 times 9, which is negative 18, plus b times 3, which is 3b plus c. Now I'll get rid of this negative 18 on the right-hand side by adding 18 to both sides of this equation. And so on the left-hand side, we'll have negative 5 plus 18, which is 13. And on the right-hand side, we'll have 3b plus c. Done. We now have our second equation involving the two unknowns, b and c. And I'll call it e2, as in equation 2. And at this stage, we have two equations involving the two unknowns we're after. So we solve them simultaneously. Looking at these two equations, we quickly see that both equations have a plus c at the end. And so if we were to subtract one from the other, we'd eliminate that unknown c. And so I'll go ahead and find equation 2 minus equation 1. So let's see, subtracting this first equation from the second one, on the left-hand side we'd have 13 minus negative 7, which is 13 plus 7, which is 20. And on the right-hand side, we'll have 3b minus negative 2b. So that's 3b plus 2b, which is 5b. And of course, we'll have c minus c, which is 0. So we've eliminated the c. And now looking at this equation, there's only one unknown, which is b, which we can find by dividing both sides by 5. So that would be 20 over 5 equals to b. In other words, b equals to 4. Done we now have one of the two unknowns. And now to find the other unknown, in other words, c, all we have to do is use either one of these two equations and replace b by 4 and solve for c. Now looking at these two equations, I think I'll choose the second one because there are less negatives in there. So let's see, if I go back to e2, the second equation, and if I replace b here by 4, it turns into 13 equals to 3 times 4, plus c. That's 13 equals to 12 plus c. And finally, subtracting 12 from both sides of this equation leads to 1 equals to c. In other words, c equals to 1. And we're done. We've now found the two unknown coefficients b and c. 
And we could finish by stating this parabola's full equation. So that's y equals to negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. And there we go. That's it for this video on functions in which we find unknown coefficients.